Apparently in recent days, NVIDIA have been hacked. Today on that Tech Guy, I'm going to be exploring exactly what happened and what the hackers are demanding. Stay tuned. So apparently a week ago, NVIDIA were actually hacked, but do we actually know if this is true or not? And that is what we're going to find out and we're also going to see exactly what happened. So on my screen here, coming to you from The Verge, as NVIDIA hacker deadline looms, 71,000 employee accounts have reportedly been exposed. So here, basically, the hackers are saying that they actually hacked the NVIDIA network. NVIDIA never denied that it got hacked. The GPU giant just didn't say all that much about what happened either. But now, as we wait to see whether the hackers make good on their threat to dump hundreds of gigabytes of proprietary NVIDIA data on the web, including details about future graphics chips by an unspecified Friday deadline. The compromised email alert website Have I Been Pawned suggests that the scope of the hack includes a staggering 71,000 employee emails and hashes that may have allowed the hackers to crack their passwords. It's not clear how Have I Been Pawned obtained this info, and NVIDIA won't say. NVIDIA would not confirm or deny to The Verge whether 71,000 employee credentials have been compromised, and it would not say whether it plans to comply with any of the hacker's demands. Now, if we scroll down a bit further here and see what the actual hacker demands are, this is quite interesting and it will be good for miners if this does actually happen and NVIDIA does comply. The hacking group is called the Lapsus Hacking Group. So the Lapsus Hacking Group, which has taken credit for the breach, had an unusually populist demand. It stated that it wants NVIDIA to open source its GPU drivers forever and remove its Ethereum cryptocurrency mining nerf from all NVIDIA 30 series GPUs, such as newer models of the RTX 3080, rather than directly asking for cash. So this is quite an unusual demand. Normally, hacking groups would ask for cash or maybe cryptocurrency. So this might actually suggest that this group are actually crypto miners themselves. But the article does go on to say, but they clearly want cash too. The hackers have also publicly stated that they'll sell a bypass for the crypto nerf for $1 million. And this morning, they briefly posted a message suggesting that today's leak would be delayed while they discuss terms with a would-be buyer of NVIDIA's source code. So the hacking group would be asking for cash as well, and they would actually be selling the crack to be able to unlock the RTX 30 series graphics cards so that you can fully mine at full hash rate. So they are going to make some money off this as well. And in the last paragraph, the article says, if NVIDIA does pay up, something that's not unheard of in these data ransom situations, I wouldn't necessarily expect to hear about it anytime soon. It won't necessarily be in either party's best interest to say so, but if NVIDIA doesn't pay or comply and Lapsus does have the data it claims, things might be about to get interesting. So that's basically what's going on at the moment with NVIDIA. A week has now passed since the hack did take place and the deadline is now due. So what is going to happen? I will keep you up to date on this and I'm going to leave a link of this article down in the description below. So be sure to check that out as well. And you can also find other articles as well relating to this subject. I just wanted to bring you this information if you did not know what is going on with NVIDIA at the moment. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.